Right, so we went to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter in Orlando. We got this little chocolate frong. Um, it's a collectible tin. I really don't know why, but me and, well, my partner here as well, we, we both really enjoy the design of this container. Like, there's nothing really spectacular to it, but, um, you know, let's open it up. You want to do it? Sure. Do it. All right, so let's look inside, shall we? Look at that. It's so cute. And, oh, and it gives you five wizarding cards in this collectible tin, too. Oh, we have Slytherin upstairs, so let's see who we got. Oh, we got another Slytherin. It's going to be hard to show you that he moves. Uh, yeah, you can see he moves a little bit. Um, and we got Albus Dumbledore. And I, don't, I would imagine that it's, yep, it's the four founding fathers and Dumbledore. Godric Gryffindor. Helga Hufflepuff. And, of course, we've got Rowena Ravenclaw. And so it's a tin. I think it was like 20 bucks. I mean, obviously it's expensive because it's um, Wizarding World of Harry Potter. But look at that heckin' cute frog. Like, I almost don't want to eat him because he's so cute. But um, then you got a collectible tin forever. I would imagine that... Um, I would imagine with these things that is probably the same standard five cards that you get with each one of these, but I've been told that, like, there are collectible renditions of all of them, and, I mean, this is, like, the sixth rendition of these wizarding cards, so, you know, when the series has been out for a while, that's kind of to be expected. And we also have Birdie Bot's Every Flavor Beans, um, in a collectible tin as well. Tank of Evie. Um, so, I've always been partial to the designs, probably because I have such fond childhood memories. We've got British spelling, obviously. Tells you the, you know, nutritional information. Not actually that terrible. And they're good until uh, this time next year. So, let's somehow open it, I guess. Oh, it's sealed with tape. So let me grab a apparatus to uh, open it with. Here's my cat. I'm just gonna open this bad boy up. And then, oh, there's um. So inside the container. It tells you all the flavors. You got flavors such as earwax, vomit, green apple, boogies, earthworm, marshmallow, rotten egg, soap, you know, all the fan favorites. Um, and it kind of freaks you out on purpose. That's the first you see. But don't worry. We have normal people flavors too, like watermelon, sausage, grass. I lied about the normal people flavors. But you see, there's a whole smorgasbord. Um, so, for instance... Let's open it up. And um, play Bean Boozled, I guess. Let's play Bean Roulette. Let's um, shake them up a bit and pick the first one. We got a yellow one. And I lucked out. That's lemon. But like this nasty looking one right here is vomit. I don't know you guys want to hear me react to eating vomit. <clears throat> now you have to, you always have to chew it and swallow it. That's the whole wizarding experience. Better down it with grass. Mmm. Oh, some good grass. And the flavors are very authentic as well. Like, the ones that are, like, the grass tastes like grass. The vomit tastes like chunks. Like, it's very authentic. So, go to Wizarding World of Harry Potter, get you some stuff.